one of the most common tasks in your academic work is the writing of papers that draw upon the research of others. Some of these writing projects, whether they are called essays, papers, or theses, require you to use the guidelines published by the American Psychological Association, or APA. These guidelines help ensure that the sources you use in composing the paper and the form of the paper itself are presented in a clear and consistent manner. The APA guidelines focus on three basic elements. First, in-text citations, sometimes called parenthetical citations because they appear inside parentheses. An in-text citation is a short notation that appears each time a source is used. The notation indicates information that was summarized or quoted from another source. This abbreviated in-text citation is given full documentation on the reference list at the end of your paper. The reference list, or just references, contains all of the information someone would need to find the exact source that you used. Lastly, guidelines for manuscript format outline the sections of a paper, their order, the spacing of elements, margin size, and so forth. Now, why use these guidelines from the APA? There are four good reasons. First, to give credit to any sources from which you borrowed information or quotations. Without giving this credit, the writer can be guilty of plagiarism, a serious academic offense. Another reason is to allow other readers to find the sources that you used, if they would like to, for their own benefit. And finally, guidelines like those provided by the APA help to minimize confusion and to promote understanding by providing a standardized way to format your paper and to cite your research. Throughout your academic career, you'll find that one of the keys to success is your ability to apply these guidelines to the papers that you write citing your sources accurately and consistently, as well as submitting well-prepared manuscripts, are the hallmarks of students who have mastered the APA guidelines. In the rest of this video, we will begin our detailed study of APA by first learning to set up a Microsoft Word document in APA style.